All right, what is up, Speak Through Sports? My name is Sparsh, and today I am joined by Dorji. And today we found a lot of interesting stuff to talk about. But first, let's talk about those rappers, man. Holy, after that pretty bad performance, you could say in their home opener, the Raptors bounced back, winning by 32 at TD Garden. What was your thoughts about this game, Dorji? Bro, honestly, I'm just so happy to see us like play as a proper team. Like compared to last year in Tampa when it was like pretty dysfunctional, like the way we play on defense. On offense, we weren't that bad, but this game showed that we were we're so much better than we're supposed to be projected for this season. And the fact that we blew out Boston at T D Garden, Toronto Domain. Um, and yeah, that was like their biggest loss at home since mm-hmm. two thousand three. 32 points. So, um, yeah, I just want to just mention before we talk about, obviously, Scotty Barnes, just the masterclass from Nick Nurse. Honestly, his rotations were very good today or the day before. Um, and, yeah, he kind of uh, outcoached Amy Uduka from the Boston Celtics. The way he, like, our lineups were really well constructed to guard Tatum and Brown. And that's probably the reason why they shot so poorly today. Yeah, honestly, man. So just to talk about Scotty Barnes' stat line, he finished with 25, 13, and two. So points, rebounds, and assists. That I did not expect that coming uh, from him. To see our offense be led around him already this early into the season, this guy's got it, what it takes to be in the NBA. I mean, his frame is ready and stuff. And we also saw in the summer league as well, this guy, he was getting some really nice double doubles over there, being able to lead those Raptors offense. But, you know, when you go into the league and you're actually playing these superstars like Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, it's on a whole other level, right? I was watching some of the highlights again this morning and something that actually pretty like surprised me a lot. I guess I wouldn't say surprised because this happens to us quite a lot. You know, when Scotty Barnes, he made his first uh, three point shot, the, uh, Commentator Brian Scalabrini, he was uh, saying, oh, I didn't really expect him to make shots like this, right? Because, you know, when you saw his videos um, from college, right, he didn't really shoot too much from, like, the three, but he's developing that shot a lot more now, and we're starting to see him take these shots more often, right? And this is what we want to see from the rookie. We want to see that guy who has that drive, who is able to go into the paint and you know, even if he has a bad shooting night, he's not afraid to shoot even more. And that's what we're seeing a lot in Scotty Barnes, right? I used to remember, and even I'm, you know, a prisoner of that moment, that time during the draft night when we drafted Scotty Barnes at four. I was kind of shocked at first because I thought, I thought that we were honestly getting Jalen Suggs mostly because we kind of accept that Kyle Lowry is pretty much going. So I thought, you know, he would sort of be that replacement guard but after we drafted Scott and I saw him actually play you know point guard at um at college I thought to myself okay this might actually be better for us he's a he's a more versatile player and one of the biggest problems that we had last year was that our lineup is pretty small we had a pretty small lineup last year and we've really upgraded it where we have like 10 guys over six feet nine now And now our problem is sort of, shoot, how do we really distribute the talent and who do we start now? I mean, you can talk about that a bit more. Yeah, just to go off that, um, the fact that we have so many players who are like over six foot nine, it's a really good problem to have for Nick Nurse as like the amount of like rotations we could have to have like, I think we have like two or three lineups that could be all six, nine players if we're we're being realistic. Like the way they can all defend pretty well. And the only thing that they're kind of lacking is obviously shot creation. But besides Siakam, they can't really create their own shot. But as you saw in last night's game, Precious Achua is he's something special. Like not just at, at terms of rebounding and blocking shots, he can move coast to coast as a guard. Like you see in the game, like like uh, they allowed him to bring up the ball as a point guard, and that's really nice to see. As last year, obviously we had Aaron Baines for majority of this season, and he obviously wasn't that good. <laughs> oh, man. You bring up some pretty bad times. <laughs> I always try to forget the Tampa season. Right? Yeah. It, it didn't count. It's all right. <laughs> so having Precious Achua and the fact that he's so young and has so much potential to grow is amazing. 
And also to go off your point about the draft, personally, like not to brag or anything, but I was pretty, um, I was pretty happy when we got Scotty. Well, since that, I watch a lot of college basketball, but I could see why Raptors fans are really skeptical. Suggs obviously had like that half court buzzer beater to beat UCLA. That gives him all like the national attention from the media. That's probably why Scotty flew under the radar. But yeah, Scotty um, is a very versatile player. Um, I believe that once Pascal comes back, we could still start Scotty, but at the point guard, that's what I was thinking. Cause I, I believe he said himself that like he wants to play point guard. That's like his preferred position. So like a lineup of Scotty, Van Vliet, OG, Siakam, and Precious, that'll be insane lineup because everyone there will be six seven, except Van Vliet. Four of them will be six seven or, or taller. So that'll be great lineup defensively. Yeah, I, I think that would actually be a pretty good lineup. Uh, I mean, Scotty can definitely bring the ball up the court pretty well. And, and you know, this guy's always moving around, right? So I think that could actually be better than just having him, like, at center, where he's just sort of mainly at the rim. We can let Precious do that. And, yeah, I, I mean, I'll, we can also talk about Precious to Chua, because we also got that from the Lowry sign and trade, right? And Drajic was also one of the other pieces involved. And what a performance by him. 15 points and 15 rebounds. This is something that we really needed last year. Somebody who could definitely rebound the ball and somebody who can definitely keep up with the other centers. And Precious, he's such a young guy and he's able to do this already. I mean, he's so quick with the ball too. You know, when you see him bring it up to the paint and then even just the way he Euro steps as well, he's like, he plays with the size of like a center, but he moves like a guard at the same time too. Uh, like this is, he, this, he's such a perfect player to have on the team and this guy is so integral for like the development and the success of our team later on and also gary trent jr in our lineup as well this is something that the raptors are going to have to look on a bit later but you know one thing that is really noticeable about gary trent jr is that he has a lot of success when he's in the main rotation and he's a bit off when he's you know comes off the bench this is sort of similar to what we had uh, with Norman Powell last year. But, you know, again, this is honestly a good problem to have because, you know, we've got a lot of talent that we can build around. And, you know, our team is still waiting for Siakam to come back, right? Siakam's going to have that bounce back season. Definitely going to get 20 plus points for him. And we're going to have some more shot creation as well, right? The Raptors are still doing pretty poorly, I guess you could say offensively in terms of shot creation and sort of driving into the paint, right? We are currently ranked last. In the yeah, league, absolutely. but but what we see defensively, right? Even OG was having a pretty off game as well. I mean, yeah, it takes some time to get back into it, but the way he was sort of guarding Tatum and Brown during this game, right? You make it up for that. This is uh this is the formula for winning success for the Raptors. That is what I would like to see more for us in the future. Yeah, for sure. Just like to mention that OG point, I believe that he'll make an all defensive team this year the way like he is so good defensively he could guard the, perim the perimeter guard the interior basically he could guard all positions very well and that's great to see as if he's not playing well offensively he's gonna give it all defensively that's the beauty of og and um not to mention gary trent 20 points on pretty good efficiency that's what i like to see because like as you mentioned before norman powell he He's all right off the bench. Like he has his moments, but when he starts, he's freaking incredible. Mm -hmm. He has some good performances. So honestly, and at first I was thinking that Drogic should start because um, our lineup like kind of lacks playmaking. But as we can see in the past two games, Van Vliet, the first game he had four assists and the one last night, he had nine assists. So he's actually doing uh, better as a facilitator as he's primarily more the shooting guard. But I think if we run Trent um, at the shooting guard spot for now and Drogic off the bench, it'll be much better for us because I believe Drogic can help our second unit to get some buckets as they can't really create their own shot. So, um, uh, yeah, just having uh, Trent start for now is great. And, yeah, to go off the precious points, um, he's just a great all-around player. Um, I believe that in Miami, like, no offense to Miami fans, but I feel like he was kind of limited with you guys. Like, in most games I've seen him, he just either, like, just, you know, just had to rebound the ball or just dunk. But with us, he's, you know, he's handling the ball more. He's shooting threes now. Like, he can make threes. 
I feel like if he takes more jump shots and gets more comfortable, he'll be a really good all-around player. Yeah, I mean, he did say in an interview a while back, I remember this, he said he wants to be the next Kawhi-like player for the Raptors. So, I mean, keep your eyes out for that. He's definitely on the verge of becoming that player if he keeps it up. And I know I said Jalen Green is my rookie of the year, but I mean, hey, if Scotty keeps this up, yeah, you know, I, I wouldn't be yeah, honestly, uh, man. I, I wouldn't be surprised if I see this happen too, you know. We'll I mean, see. like, like no bias, like bias aside, I believe that Scotty's the best rookie right now. As of yeah. right now, because um, yeah. Kate hasn't played yet. Um, Jalen Green has been, he's been all right. He's looking. I mean, he, like yesterday, he almost had like one of the best dunks I've seen in a while. Oh yeah, and uh, I mean, other than that, like Josh Giddy's been all right. Uh, Kuminga's been injured as well, so that's two of the two lottery picks injured already. Mm -hmm. Scotty has been looking really, good, especially in preseason too. Scotty has been looking really nice so far. Yeah, I, I was just kind of surprised on like how like many jump shots he's taking and how much he's making because he didn't really shoot a good percentage in college, but he's becoming more confident. His jump shot looks a bit more refined now as compared to last year. So honestly, if he takes those mid ranges, makes them consistently, I'll be very happy. Yeah, and. I mean, Scotty Barnes, man, we made a good decision drafting him. That's what yeah. I've wanted to say for this video. This Raptors future is looking pretty bright, man. It's pretty yeah. bright. This guy's definitely a keeper for us. Anyways, that is this Speak to Sports. If you've gotten this far to the video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And make sure to press the bell for push notifications. That way you're always up to date with our content. And it makes us more excited to also post some content for you. So keep an eye out because we're going to be posting lots of content as this season is going through. Anyways, this is Sparsh and this is Dorji and thanks for watching. Take it easy, guys.